Yes. Rikishi versus Steve Austin, the main event. First, the McMahons come out to confront Foley, but it doesn't lead to anything. So the match starts. I loved how they got the heat in this match so much. Rikishi's working Austin over, working Austin over. And they've been talking all night, two hours, about how Rikishi's going to give somebody a stink face. So Rikishi is beating Austin up, and he throws him into the corner, and Austin falls on his ass in the corner. And the crowd knows, this is it. This is time. And Austin's woozy. He can't move. And the crowd's going crazy. But R- Vince jumps up in the apron. Rikishi goes after Vince. Austin leaps to his feet and hits Rikishi with a low blow. It was a trap the whole time. He was faking it. He was playing possum to lure Rikishi into a false sense of security, do what he said he was going to do, and get him to drop his guard so he could hit him in the balls and then beat him up some. A brilliant plan. So the match continues. Austin goes for a chair. As he's bringing the chair into the ring, Rikishi drops a leg on him onto the chair. Vince McMahon runs into the ring, not a DQ. He is super kicked. He is leg dropped. Ref is just watching. Stephanie McMahon gets in the ring, not a DQ. Rikishi goes after her, but Austin hits Rikishi. Let's see. Austin slams Rikishi into Steph in the corner. She goes down. But as Rikishi turns around, Austin stuns him, gets the pin, with Stephanie McMahon in one corner and Vince McMahon in another. Foley goes to grab a chair after getting the win, but uh, Austin goes to grab a chair. Foley won't let him, so Austin drags Foley over the railing, beats his ass, and then Rikishi makes a save with a chair, and then just suddenly, out of nowhere, like he was given the cue, do it not right now, he just runs over and gives Steph a stink face. And that's the end of the show. Hey, I gotta say that she did an excellent job selling this, and... I mean, when the show was over, it was like, okay, well, this was all designed to just set up some wacky spot, and... Hunter's going to come back and he's going to be mad. And there was a couple of, there were a few good things on this show. But overall, watching this show, it just felt directionless. Like, okay, so I know it's Undertaker and Austin. Mm -hmm. And, uh, (laughs) hello? Well, Brian. I mean, Ben Juan Angle for the medals, right? I assume sure. that's going to be coming. Okay. Uh, but they they actually ended the programs on the show. They ended Jericho and Regal. They ended the Dudley Boys Next Factor. It's mm. true. Well, so, all right. I don't know what they're doing for the paper you read. Felt largely directionless to me, aside from those top two matches. Maybe they're getting ready for the big WCW invasion. Not a word. <laughs> Not a word about world championship wrestling. <laughs> there was one guy with a sign that said, I want Booker T. Was it Booker? Uh, yeah, that was... Oh, in the crowd. I'm it was sorry. Stevie. Yes. That actually made more sense. Stevie Ray was in the crowd. There you go. 